Alright. Hey, my name is uh, Francisco Ventura. I'm a third year mechanical engineering major here at Georgia Tech. And this is my fluid mechanics extra credit video. It is over pressure. Its title is The Force of Pressure. Um, this is going to be a very low tech presentation as you can tell. And not very much video editing because I hate it. But uh, I guess you guys are just going to have to bear with me here. So specifically, I'm going to be talking about atmospheric pressure. Now what exactly is atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure is the entire pressure of the atmosphere um, on a surface or a body. Now what is that at sea level? It is 1 atm. Now I find that number to be largely useless, so let's put it in terms that are uh, a bit more illuminating. So it is 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth newtons per meter squared. Now using our relationships between force and pressure, we can see that force over area is equal to pressure and solving for force, which is kind of easy, is force is equal to pressure times area. Now, using this relationship, we can begin to kind of analyze what the atmospheric pressure on, let's say, a can uh, behind me is. Now, and you guys are just going to have to take this for granted. I went ahead and measured it with a tape measure and everything. I ended up multiplying through and getting out the number uh, 12,852.25 newtons um, for the force on the can by the atmosphere. In comparison, the uh, force of gravity on an average adult male is approximately 680 newtons, so this is actually 20 times more, which is a pretty ridiculous number if you think about it. Now, moving on, this beautiful picture happens to be our can back there, if you couldn't tell. It actually has a hole in the top and a little bit of water in the bottom. The purple arrows are there to describe or to show the atmosphere on the uh, surface of the scan. And the orange arrows, since this is open to the air, atmosphere has actually come in to this can and is pushing out, um, and this uh, can is in equilibrium, just sitting there. Now, I'm actually heating that can behind me. So this can, and it's been heating for a while, now has water vapor in it. And actually, the water vapor pushes the air that it was in there out. And so now all you have is this water vapor inside of here with still some water at the bottom. And this water vapor is actually the only thing providing the equilibrium force against the atmosphere. Now, what I will be doing to this can is I'll be taking it and flipping it upside down into that ice water bath over there. Now what that'll look like in my uh, beautiful artistic renditions is this. Um, at this point, the water, because of the cold ice water bath, their water vapor will condense back into water and collect back at the bottom of the can, leaving this sort of vacuum open area right here with nothing resisting the force of the atmosphere on the can. Well, what do you guys think will happen to the can? Let's find out. Alright, so, safety first. This is my uh, tongs, very elaborate mechanism for uh, lifting this can. You can even see some of the steam coming out of it on the top. I'm going to be dragging it and dropping it into this ice water bath, and hopefully we'll see what this does. All right. And that should be as expected. As we saw, there was that kind of empty cavity up there, and I don't really want to touch it. Okay, cool. It's not really that hot. All right. Yeah. But as you can see, the atmospheric force on this can all over has effectively crushed this can is nothing. I mean, this was a hard can, too. Like, I, even right now, and it's still a little bit hot, actually. Even right now, I can't, and I'm not very strong, I guess, but I can't even move it. But look at how far and how deformed this can has become just because of atmospheric pressure. It's really actually pretty cool. And so, in conclusion, the uh, atmosphere actually has a lot of pressure on us. And thankfully, we have all sorts of liquids and fluids inside of us that actually help push against that. And hopefully, no one ever tries to do this to you because it would not be very fortunate. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. That was my presentation. All right.